Hi, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about my experiences with Chinese New Year since Chinese New Year is fast approaching. Um, I, I'll just introduce myself quickly. My name is Dan Hussman. I'm the assistant director of the William & Mary Confucius Institute. And uh, I've lived in China a few different times, um, but the experience that I had with Chinese New Year that probably stands out in my mind the most is when I was leaving in a village in Shanxi province uh, doing research. Yeah, it was the new year of, two, of 2009, so January 2009, or maybe it was February, I don't remember, but it's New Year's of 2009. Um, and I was living in a village of about 3,000 people in Shanxi near Changzhi City, in case anybody knows Shanxi geography. Um, but I had spent time in China before, and I had been in China for Chinese New Year before, but I think the thing that sta stands out the most for me was how different it felt to be in a village for Chinese New Year. And so I just want to talk about that experience a little bit. Um, so first of all, I, the, the thing I noticed was just that in the lead up to Chinese New Year, there was this big build up. It felt like so much was happening. Everybody in the village was participating in getting the, the village ready for Chinese New Year. So there was this kind of feeling of this building excitement. And you feel that in cities too, in China, of course. Everybody's very excited for the New Year's and excited to have a holiday. Um, but in a village, it was, it was really focused, Very, everybody was really focused on, on the holiday and, and getting ready for the holiday. Um, so it was this kind of building excitement, it was, re it was really fun to participate in. And then on the day of Chinese New Year, I think the thing that I enjoyed the most that I hadn't experienced before was these groups um, of women from the village who were performing what's called yanggu, which is uh, kind of like a flower dance, I guess you could translate it as. So women dressed in these very colorful costumes, usually with a fan, and doing these coordinated dances, sort of like a parade. And there were parades going through the village. So the whole village on the day of New Year's was just exploding with all this excitement and so many people participating and all these people doing participating in these parades and doing these dances. Um, but the really fun thing was that the village where I lived um, was built according to the very traditional style of Chinese courtyard households. Um, and so the, these young good dancers would go from house to house and then they would go into the courtyard of a particular person and they often would go to the most important people in the village first. They would go to their house and they would come into the courtyard and they would do a performance in the courtyard of the house. So it was a really exciting moment. Um, it was really interesting the way the, the kind of public life of this parade and public life of the village was also part of people's homes. So everything was open and everybody was participating, doing these dances. And then, of course, with Chinese New Year, always there's fireworks, right? So at the end of the Yanga dancers, they would leave the, the courtyard and then lots of fireworks get set off. So. That was a really exciting experience for me and um, probably the thing that I remember the most about being in China for Chinese New Year. So I just want to wish everybody who's watching this video a happy Chinese New Year, a happy Year of the Snake, and I hope your year goes excellently. Xin Yan Kuai Le, Wan Shi Bu Yi. Thank you.